What's up YouTube, Christo here. Um, I've got a special video for you. Uh, this is kind of a YouTube's Fragcom Cribs video. Um, I'm kind of hoping a few other people will follow suit after I do this. I've been trying to do it for a while. Um, I thought it would be fun to do and I've had um, a few subscribers and viewers um, ask as well for me to do it. So here it is. Hope you guys like it. So, um, if you guys know or not, most of you probably do, um, I live in Jakarta in Indonesia and in Southeast Asia. I've lived here for a little more than nine years and I've lived in this house a little more than two years. Um, I really like this neighborhood. It's really nice, clean, quiet, safe. So, hope you enjoy the tour. So, here the front yard, not much happening. Uh, I've got some plants, trees, flowers over there. Don't even know what they're called. I just water them when they're about to die. Maison Maves. So, we'll come in here. And this room, as soon as you walk in, this is my lounge, formerly the living room slash TV room. Um, but I basically stopped watching television, so I took my television out, put it upstairs. Um, up here, these are some photos uh, from my holiday I took a couple years back. Um, definitely the most beautiful place I've been in Indonesia. My favorite holiday place as well. Really, really beautiful, Belitung Island. Over here, this is my kind of awkward kitchen, uh, dining room here. Um, don't really eat here. Basically, when I come home from work, if I have to go back out again, I just leave my stuff on the table and I leave it. And then when I'm about ready to go, I change and go out. Not much time spent in here. Courtyard here, this is kind of strange, uh, but it's nice, I guess. Uh, little open area, no roof or anything. Um, not really big enough to put tables or chairs or anything, but it's big enough you can, I don't know, take out a little lawn chair and drink a beer and sit in the sun. Barbecue over there, like my barbecues. Uh, some pictures, family, friends. Oh, it's falling down in the back there. Um, mirror, this is a really nice mirror. I This is a uh, hand-carved wooden mirror I picked up at a flea market. Um, thought it was beautiful, I had to buy it. This is a painting that my great-great-uncle did. Uh, this is painted in Alberta. This is a scene from Alberta, I should say. I don't know where it was painted, but um, uh, it was painted in like the late 1800s or early 1900s. I'm not exactly sure. I can't remember, but I thought it'd be nice to bring over. All right, my room. This is the master bedroom, my room, um, my bed. I love my bed. It's really hard and uncomfortable, um, but I love it. Black and white, you can see uh, most things in my house are black or white. Uh, air conditioning, I absolutely 100% need air conditioning. I've lived here for a long time, but um, I just can't deal with heat when I'm trying to sleep. Uh, makeup table, uh, and actually most of the stuff on here is mine. Uh, face creams and moisturizers and toners and lip balm and eye cream and face I don't even know what that is. Face balm. Uh, unscented cream I use when I put on my cologne, my perfume. I put it on my chest and spray it on. Hair wax. More creams and lotions. Uh, this is my oud, my oud incense that I burn. Um, these I showed these in a video before. Um, it's actually oud wood and you take this out and you put it in my oud wood burner down here and it smells beautiful when it's burned. I actually prefer my house to smell more like oud than myself personally. Uh, my, my collection, I got my top shelf stuff, uh, my uh, Creed's, Bonds, Gucci, Chanel, Hermes, uh, Mugler, whatever, whatever. Um, over here this is my wife's stuff. Um, She's got her uh, Chanel crystal in the back. I bought that for her. She really likes it. She's got some bonds here. 
Um, she stole my Sicily that was originally mine. Um, this here, this is uh, Amethyst, basically her signature scent. I bought that for her when we first started dating and I really, really liked it on her. So um, she, she really enjoys it as well, so it has kind of, um, you know, makes us think of each other. Uh, my designer uh, deodorant over there, Serge Luton. Um, I've got my spray decants over here, and then my lesser used designers. Uh, down here I've got some incense, and samples, and empty decants, and shower gels, and backup bottles, and all that stuff. Empty boxes and whatnot on the bottom there. Uh, over here to my wardrobe. Uh, this is a fraction of my clothes. Uh, mostly my stuff. Um, work shirts, collared shirts, polo shirts. Um, some of my stuff, I assure you, that is not mine. Um, what else? Uh, oh, this is cool. I love this. Um, my Mets, my Martinez Mets jersey. Don't think you can see that. I'll take it out. Um, one of the good things about living over here is you can get the kind of slightly imperfect official sports stuff for really cheap. Um, some traditional Indonesian clothing. Uh, usually you wear it to weddings and stuff, but um, not really my style. I do like it though. Um, socks, lots of socks. Baseball glove. I love baseball, but um, nobody plays it over here. More clothes. Top shelf is mine. Middle shelf, wife. Bottom shelf's mine. Um, you can see who the clothes freak is in the house. Um, here, watches, um, cufflinks, documents, passports. Um, I'm, I love cufflinks. I can't really say I collect them because I don't have that many. But um, I do really, really enjoy them. I like wearing them. Uh, my favorite pair right here. Really cool skull and crossbones. Alright, next stop, my ensuite bathroom. My bathrobe there, I love my bathrobe. But my bathroom, on the other hand, I absolutely hate it. It's dirty, it's dark, it's dim, it's disgusting. Um, the thing with Southeast Asian bathrooms, um, probably Southeast Asian, definitely Indonesian at least, is they're wet, wet bathrooms. And wet, I mean there is no uh, curtain or separator, separator from the shower and the actual bathroom itself. So um, it gets really, really dirty really easily. Even if I clean my bathroom uh, within two days, it will be starting to get dirty and smelly again just from everything getting wet. Um, yeah, again, I got more cream, shower gel, face gel, uh, body shop, designer stuff. I got some body scrub, my sponge that I use all the time. All right, so let's keep going. Uh, this monstrosity in the back, this is not mine. I, this is in, from the house that I rent. Um, keep that in mind. Uh, rice cooker. Uh, I lived in this country for nine years or eight and a half years before I got married and two days after I got married I had to buy a rice cooker for my wife. Uh, this mess, this utter rat's nest of boxes, bubble wrap, styrofoam packaging. Um, it's a mess but I just have nowhere to put it honestly. Uh, over here, my shoe collection, well a few pairs of my wife's shoes and sandals but um, I am a shoe freak as well. Um, I love Stan Smith's Adidas. I have about 10 pair. Um, I've got more over in here. I just don't have room to put them out. Got hockey skates, lacrosse sticks, Adidas boxes, Nike boxes, dartboard. All right, uh, another room that I absolutely hate. Uh, this is my kitchen. Um, Kitchens in Indonesia are definitely not the luxurious item that they've kind of become known in the West um, as here they're kind of where the maid cooks dinner. Um, it's really dark and dank and far, far, far from luxurious. I do not spend a lot of time in here. It's actually cheaper and easier to um, eat out, like get street food. 
so um, I usually do not cook. Um, I will sometimes if I want to make pasta or something. Um, in here, I'll show you guys my fridge as I know it's a Cribs staple. Um, I think there's some chicken for dinner tonight. I've got um, some barbecue sauce, some hickory barbecue sauce, pasta, some olives, mustard, and uh, that's about it. Not very much in there. So let's go out to, oh sorry, almost forgot, upstairs. Um, up here I've got my old Dutch documents. Uh, this is a official document from the Dutch government. Uh, there's a red wax stamp up there. Very nice, very, very good condition for what it is. Um, this is from, where is it, uh, 1832. Uh, this one here, this is a Malayu Arabic document. Um, I don't know exactly what it is, but I believe it is a uh, kind of a s official law document or something. This, of all the documents I own, this is my favorite. Uh, this is a Dutch era, Dutch colonial era document in Javanese. And um, you can see it's kind of like Sanskrit. Um, and all the research I've done, I have not been able to find a single other uh, Dutch colonial era official uh, document in Javanese, so it's quite rare. All right, upstairs. Up here, this is where I make my videos. This is a computer. Up here, I've got my maps. I'm a huge geography nerd. I've got more maps up here, but I don't have enough room for them. Um, I've got my bench press set that you can obviously tell gets a lot of use. Um, over here, my computer. Just got this in the mail today. Bond Ode New York sam uh, tester. Ambre Nargui from Hermes. I got a few bond samples. Very nice letter from Dave DK Mode thanking me. Well, saying to enjoy the samples. I told him thank you. Uh, this is a letter I got from the Fragrance Bros uh, in the Pure Malt unboxing. I still keep it up. It's a little wilted, but um, I like it there. Uh, here, this is, um, I don't know, some of you might have noticed, I don't know, uh, this is actually what I sit on. I don't sit on a bed or a futon or anything. I actually have an, a mattress that I flop down on the floor because when I moved in here, um, my staircase is so awkwardly shaped and so narrow um, that my sofa's downstairs. One was meant to be up here. Um, I couldn't bring it up. I couldn't fit it up the stairs. So um, I put this on the floor and I was planning on getting um, a, a chair or some kind of uh, yeah, a futon or something, but this is so comfortable, I just figured there's no point. Bookcase, um, I do like reading, but I don't have much time. My favorite author, Charles Bukowski, I love him. Uh, he's about the only fiction writer that I like. Uh, Monopoly, this is a pretty rare Indonesian version, official Monopoly version. Um, this is the British version, the English version. Um, I got some more Indonesian stuff here, some old money, Dutch era, well, Japanese occup occupied era stuff. I got some, I don't even know what these are. They look like little, little trowels or something. I don't know, they're pretty cool though. Some uncut stamps from the 50s with palm trees. Those are pretty nice. Um, over here, this room, this is my son's room. Um, my five-year-old son has a room bigger than most adults, I know, but um, when I show you the other extra bedroom, you'll know why I keep him in here. So he's got a nice big bed. He's also got the baby box somewhere, but it seems to be gone. Um, that's the TV I brought up from downstairs, so my wife will sit on the bed with my son and watch little kids' movies. Um, Baby clothes, he's got more clothes again than most adults, but um, you know, I like spoiling them, keeping them well dressed like his old man. Um, over here, this is the other bathroom. Uh, this one does not get used at all, uh, hence the dirtiness and the creaking door. 
Um, this thing in the back here, this is uh, kind of like an Indonesian shower. Uh, you fill it up, you can see the tap there, you fill it up with water and then you take the bucket and you, or the scoop I should say, and you put the water on yourself, but um, don't really use that, that's kind of like the maid's bathroom. Uh, this room here, this is the other bedroom, so you can see why I don't keep my baby in there. Okay, um, so I'll take you guys back downstairs and we'll finish off the tour. Um, here, these are some cool, um, don't even know what you call them, they're not really photos, I don't know, pictures. Uh, this one here, this is a, as far as I can make out, it's a Dutch um, architect firm in um, central Java. Really cool, I like the um, design on it. And this is like an old um, cigarette advertisement from Java. So let's go downstairs again. And last but not least, my whip, my badass hog. Um, it's a Honda, I think it's like 125cc. Uh, this baby will get up to uh, 90k. Um, which is actually pretty good for how small it is, and I spend like two dollars a week on gas So there you go guys that was the tour of Maison Maves little shot of my neighborhood there nice quiet Beautiful day absolutely beautiful day um, Anyways, uh, I hope you liked it and uh, hopefully I'll see a few other people do some cribs videos in the future Thanks so much for watching and uh See you again soon.